Yeah, good morning students welcome back to our class that is international business today we are going to cover two topics one is the drivers of globalizations another one is international process and stages these are very important uh, exam point of view please give concentration towards this now what do you mean by uh, globalization yesterday we have discussed that means the business which is taking place in the international level in the market is nothing but globalization what are the activities uh, are taking place that things will come under the uh, globalization now what do you mean by drivers of globalization drivers means what the terms uh, the media and almost every book on the globalization and international business speak about different drivers of globalization and they are classified basically separated into different groups what are those now drivers of globalization are the pressures are the changes that have impelled both business and nations to adopt this approach that means when the business is not taking place in the nation in the country of the product the product can be utilized or change or utilized in other countries or other area of the world cost drivers market drivers government drivers competitive drivers what does it mean just have a look now if you see here towards the cost global drivers what is a uh, global scale economics huh? exploring the logistic facts everything this is not only that market uh, what are the needs of the globalization traveling market lead courses those things are. government is there so what does it include so everything is there that means uh, foreign trade policy uh, competition standards company standards high cost of governance everything is includes like that competition is never brought who are our competitors what are their requirements are, now coming to the main reasons that have been caused globalization it improved transportation making global travel easier containerization improved technology which makes it easier to communicate and share information around the world that means what are the reasons what are the uh, transportation that means traveling the goods from one place to another place we need transportation so it has improved transportation when the transportation is taking place n number of jobs will be there n number of opportunities is taking the economic is boosting of all the countries it's in global travel and so what is happening if you are having a global international travel like silk route from china to europe how many countries are coming in between all those countries will remove their boundaries and will make a good relationship with each other so that the business can be increased and there will be an easy transportation now they will improve the technology which makes easier to communicate and share information around the world whichever the data is important they will share not all the communications are sharing information is used with the help of technology they are going to use that so there is a growth of multinational companies with global presence in many different economics so what is happening in different uh, economics uh, international level the mnc people are developing if you see here because in that picture there was nothing was clear what are the different drivers of globalization cost driver market driver government drivers competitive drivers other drivers if you see here uh, coming to the market in the market what is happening what is the per capita income delivering among the industrialized nations in the country what is going on who is the governance lifestyles of and taste what is the organizing begin to have in global customers it will increase travel creating global consumers growth of global and regional channels everything what we have discussed just now everything has been mentioned in the according to reduction of trades and tariffs with if you are having the government rules you can reduce the uh, trades and tariffs tariffs means what taxes taxes will not be there creation of blocks will be there some blocks you can make like uh, nowadays one example china pakistan iran turkey has become one block so that the goods which are manufactured in uh, china automatically they are going via roadways in pakistan also they can utilize those afghanistan also they can utilize and 
uh, Iran also because they are not socialized, then Turkey because they are not socialized. So what is happening? From Asia, East Asia to the West, um, East Europe, the goods are going with the help of the blocks, no trades and tariffs the borders are there. Now privatization is previously a state dominated economics and increasing the participant of China and India in the global economy. Cost drivers. It will advance in transportation, continuing push for economics of scale and increasing the cost of product and development related to the market. Everything has been mentioned clear and cut out. So I hope students will understand. Now we will go to the next topic that is international, so internationalization process and stages. If you talk about the process, minimum risk to maximum risk, minimum reward to maximum reward. What are the things are there? Indirect exporting through intermediate channels. So if it's there, then now we are going with the direct investment and foreign manufacturing are there. Joint ventures, direct exporting, license and franchise. We need. So if you take high risk, high profit, low risk, low profit. That is the main agenda. If you see in the next process, it is very clear and cut out that in the first stage, international marketing strategy scope and framework. What they are doing? They are making the international marketing strategy and scope and framework. They will design a framework, they will keep their strategies in them, then have a scope for the international market. Next stage, I mean next process is international marketing environment. They will create the environment and they will build the international marketing so that the product can run for highway. The third step, international marketing stage. Sorry, strategy. Fourth one, international market entry strategies. Fifth one, strategic alignment and performance. See, I will tell you to enter into the market, foreign market, what are the things first we need to plan. Then we have to implement. Then we have to make the strategies. Then they have to read. That means in the market after once we implement, we will get some n number of problems issues. Again, what we will do, we have to solve it. We have to digest that we have to solve or we have to bring the alternative solution. Then only we will staple to run in the market and then what is happening? Gradually the strategies alignment will take space and our performance will be stable and it will be demand in the market. So these are the process of international internationalization. Now what are the stages of internationalization? First one is domestic operations that means local operations, export operations that means what are the goods are manufacturing, packaging, labeling ordering that means dispatching conducting how much the requirement cost price place quality everything we will do here then we will export the goods which uh, sending the goods to the exact address to the exact place person at the right time with the good quality and safety everything then subsidiaries are joint ventures if we are sending to a joint venture of the company then MNCs will be there multinational operations the people that means International law is there that will be manifested. And transnational operation, that means with two countries of the transition saving place, those things will be taking place over here. Next. If you see here in this picture, domestic form is the global form, or that means the domestic form, the first stage, what it is doing, it is co evaluating and learning complementary resources and capabilities, and it is selling the technologies transfer to the foreign subsidiary. First, the domestic form is manufacturing the PV components. Uh, PV components means what? It's a photo. Uh, so that means like we are having, uh, uh, if I talk about uh, solar plant. So what is happening here? So you will find a blue color sheet will be there. So like that, the photovoltaic system is a PV component. Nowadays, people, uh, many people need electricity with the help of solar energy. They can generate the electricity. So the domestic people are manufacturing the PV components. When they are making the manufacturing, they have to sell in the domestic market as well as they have to sell into the foreign market. When they are selling to the foreign market, it, uh, it will become second stage. Why? Because after manufacturing the goods in the same home country or in the domestic market, that will become first stage. Then if it's selling to the market for the other countries, it will go in the second stage. Then when it is going to the second stage, what will happen is service and engineering for PV plants are needed. So the people who are manufacturing, they provide the internal markets will be there. So they will go and give the training and provide the locality. Then 
foreign subsidy will be there. The second says upgrading will be there. The technology transfer from home country to the expatriate country. Then in the third stage, what is happening? Global market is taking place. That means it is become from domestic to the international. That means global market. Then PV plants and PV components will be manufactured in other countries at the global international level. Because when the one country is in demand of those goods, other countries will also order it and they uh, purchase or buy it. So this home countries has become the global form. Or the country which is going in with other countries, other people will also want to manufacture with the help of their technology or with the help of internet market experience all these things taken. So these are the stages which describes about the internationalization. In common parlance, internationalization occurs when a transaction is handled by an entity itself rather than routing it out with someone else. So this process may apply to business and investment transactions or to the corporate world. Now, if you see here, in businesses, I mean internationalization is a transaction conducted with in a corporation rather than the open market. So what is what does it mean? The transaction is conducted within the corporation rather than the open market. In the open market, the goods will be exchanging with but in the international the transaction taking legal transaction is taking place. So the boost of the economy is taking place over here. So they will come to know that means white money if I want to say here. So I hope students will understand the topics of today's international business one is the drivers second month the stages and process of international relations. Thank you, Harvey Anjay. Please mention your role numbers in the comment box.